welcome to Den of Tools. Howdy ho, guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the old Den of Tools. And with the whole, you know, Wuhan thing that went on, a lot of you have been asking, hey, cover more American-made tools. And we've already started that series. We're trying to do more of that. We got more coming up here. Uh, we're, we're especially going to do more, you know, over the 4th of July week. We're going to do a, a whole red, white, and blue week there. But that said, I've got to talk about the top 10 most American-made cars because a lot of people are going to be surprised to find out there is not a single car that is 100% American made. Yep, in most cases, what you're going to find is you're going to run into either entirely imported cars or cars that fall into that assembled in the USA from global materials kind of kind of rigor moral. Now, so what we have here is uh, cars.com assembles this list every single year to help you find the cars that are the most American made. There are some caveats to this. We got 90 some cars here that are listed as being at least partially assembled in the USA. So of course, anything that is entirely foreign is not gonna show up here. The other thing is there are some cars and trucks that are made in the USA, mo mostly trucks, okay? Because if they're of the the uh, serious, the, the heavyweight, like gross vehicle weight of over 8,500 pounds, they're not uh, requ uh, required to list all their components if uh, to the AALA, as such, they're not going to be on the list. Also, very small manufacturers, people who don't produce enough aren't, aren't considered mass manufacturers. They don't have to submit that information as well. So uh, that's why you're not going to see some that maybe you, th you thought that you would. But that said, let's jump into it. And starting at number 10, we have the compact, or I guess the quarter ton uh, Chevy pickup truck, the Colorado. Yep, it is made in Wentzville, Missouri, and it is the 10th most American vehicle that you can buy. All right, number nine on the list. Number nine is the Tesla Model X made in Fremont, California. Now, those of you who are car guys probably aren't too surprised to see some, uh, some Teslas show up on this. Yeah, a lot of electronics we know are going to be made uh, overseas, the battery and such. But if you've been following Tesla's, you know, the setup of their plant, they've been uh, forming, building, uh, and molding a lot of the stuff here. On top of that, a lot of the times with a lot of these vehicles, what gets made overseas is the transmission and the, the basically the drivetrain. And in this case, you just got some motors there. Uh, you don't have that big engine block. And in, in a lot of cases, it's, it's a lot more of a, uh, a more basic design, believe it or not. And as such, it's easier to produce here in the U.S., all right, number eight, the, sh the new Chevrolet Corvette. Oh, that thing is a beauty. I saw that at the SEMA show last year, and I fell in love with it. This is a gorgeous car, just absolutely gorgeous. And this one you can find, of course, in where Corvettes usually made. You, got, you guessed it, Bowling Green, Kentucky. So uh, it, this one is pretty much a, a, a standard on the list. It shows up every single year. And you got to like the guys down in Bowling Green who roll these things out. Man, I, I love these things. All right. And I'm, and I'm not a Chevy guy by any means, but that is one pretty car. All right. Next up, this one is going to be a surprise. And that is the Honda Passport that's made in Lincoln, Alabama. In fact, that, that's not the only Honda we have on here. Number six is the Honda Ridgeline which I think, I, I think we can all agree is one of the ugliest pickup trucks out there. It looks like they didn't finish the idea there. They just kind of chopped the back end off. I know, I wasn't a huge fan of the previous Ridgeline, but I thought it looked better than this thing. But that said, uh, it's not alone. We can still, still have one more. Number five, the Honda Odyssey. Now, uh, when my family, when we had minivan, we looked at, at this. They're pricey little minivans, but wow, they're really well made. They're well constructed and they've got all the bells and whistles that any family would want. And, you know, Honda does have a reputation for just running nearly forever as long as you take care of them. I don't know if the, the Odyssey is quite, you know, up to snuff along with the rest of the Honda stuff, uh, but, you know, they do run. Anyway, again, all three of those, that that is seven, or I should say five, six, and seven, all made in Lincoln, Alabama. Next up. We're going back to California, back to Fremont. We got the Tesla Model 3. And uh, next to that, we have, what again, what I think are one of the most beautiful cars out there, which is the Tesla Model S. Now, uh, the uh, the Model S is, I think, I you know, I used to live in the Bay Area. You'd see these. They, they became the uh, 
the replacement for the BMW. And oh my gosh, I think they're beautiful cars. They've got great lines. Uh, and if you've never driven an electric, man, it is just a joy. It's quiet. It's relaxed. It's got instant torque, instant power. Uh, it, it just a beautiful setup there. All right. Enough about that. Number two, if you also know the bear, I'm a big Jeep guy. Always glad to see a Jeep on the list. We got the Jeep Cher Cherokee made in Belvedere, Illinois. Yep. That's number two. Now, uh, there's been several Jeeps that show up on and off of this list, but, uh, there's, there's always seems to be one, if not the top one that's on this list. And the number one this year assembled in Wayne, Michigan. Have you guessed it? Do you know what it is? It's of all things, the Ford Ranger, which is kind of ironic if you, if you think about it, because this is just a clone of the Ford Ranger that they've been selling overseas for years. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's updated and all that stuff. And I, I saw one at the, the Vegas trade show uh, about six months ago or something like that. And, and they're cute. They're, they're nice looking little trucks. I like the little trucks. I need more space than they, they offer, but I, I like the, uh, I used to drive a, a Ranger for a short time, way, way, way back when I like the small trucks, but that said, I do have to say that a lot of these uh, newer small trucks seem to lack a, a bit of character. Uh, I've seen the uh, the badging, the, at least the front grill for the new Chevy. And again, not a Chevy fan, but wow, <laughs> that looks pretty good. Anyway, so that's our, our top 10. Now, here's a question. You're, I know you're all asking, you're chopping at the bit, was how American are they? Well, I don't have stats for all of them, but what I can tell you is the number one Ford Ranger, hold on your, your shorts here, 70% American. That That's... I was stunned by that. I, I was, and to be honest, a little disappointed. The most American made truck is, you know, almost one third, not American. It's 70% USA made. That's still a, a large chunk that's made overseas. Now that said, you know, the bears often said, you know, just because stuff is made overseas doesn't necessarily make it bad. Uh, it still brings, you know, dollars and jobs to the United States and, and a lot of it. The U.S. Uh, auto industry is a huge employer. They bring in billions, if not trillions of dollars into the United States. A lot can be said for that. But what I do want to talk about, though, are the ones who are kind of riding the coattails, where they're not making the full effort. They're kind of, you know, using, they're using the label. Like they're showing off, hey, we've got plants here in the U.S. We're making vehicles here. But really what they're doing is they're doing the Lego assembly. They're making almost everything overseas. They're shipping it here. And, uh, and then they're just snapping it together here. And so I've got three companies. Now this is not specific models, but three companies that I feel top the shame list for trying to claim being a made in America without really making a, a full effort on that. And number one on that list is Subaru. Subaru has got several plants. They're in Indiana, Indiana. They, they make this big deal about how Subaru makes, you know, their cars in the gold, good U S of a. But here's the reality. The number one listed Subaru ranks in out of 91 vehicles, ranks in at number 72, hence the number above. You've got below that, so that's the Subaru Ascent. Below that, you've got the Outback. You've got the Impreza. Uh, it, it's just they're, they're, not, they're not really making that big an effort to truly make them in the U.S., uh, and, and that's kind of sad. Next, uh, in, in the shame category, and I guess no one's really surprised about this is BMW. They're just doing enough to get the tax credits to, to get a little bit of marketing. But the the X5 comes in here at rank number 78. The X3 is rank number 79. The X7, which is a truly hideous vehicle, comes in at uh, 82. So again, you know BMW BMW not really making the effort. And last but not least, and again. I'm not terribly surprised by this, is Volvo. Yeah, Volvo here coming at rank 80 with the S60. And, and honestly, that's the only one they got. So they've got one, via, one, one plant there in Ridgefield, South Carolina, and they're not making anything else here. I'm not sure how much else they're selling here. I don't see a lot of Volvos these days. So maybe that isn't a big issue. Is this an issue to you? Do you... 
do you really care that they're that these companies are doing stuff like this? That Subaru and BMW and and Volvo are are, are only just basically making the minimum effort. And there are people below this. Toyota Rav Four is like is ranked ninety first. But that said, Toyota's got other vehicles that are much higher than that. Uh, I think the highest ranked Toyota is the Toyota Tundra, which is ranked at 16. Not bad. I mean, that's a big, high-selling truck. The Tundra is a great truck. Lots of people like that truck. You see it everywhere around here. you know. So they're definitely making an effort, which is one of the reasons they're not on my shame list. They've got a ton of other vehicles that they make in the U.S., maybe not in the top 10, but they're, they're trying. These three companies, to me, were ones like, we are just doing the bare minimum. <laughs> bare minimum okay there you go there you have it that's your top 10 you know most usa made cars we got through in a couple of the losers there as well uh is this something you like Do you want to see more of this this is not the first time we've covered automotive here on the channel if you're new it's something we dip our toes in every so often uh we cover a lot of mechanical tools and stuff like that and as such the cars thing kind of leaks into it besides I'm a car bear from way back when, and, and you just, just, just no getting away from it. I like covering that kind of stuff. Anyway, let me know what you think about down below. What surprised you the most? What surprised you the least? What vehicle do you have? You know, where was it made? Did, does it matter to you? Anyway, that's all we have for now. Don't forget to chomp the like button on your way out the door. I really appreciate it if you would. And, uh, you know, maybe consider subscribing and ringing that bell. If you like the bear, if you like what we do here, you know, don't miss any of the videos. Make sure you catch them all. We try to put out uh you know three to four videos a week uh, plus we do the sunday night live stream have you stopped by for the live stream every sunday jeff and jesse and the cubs and the labradog starting at uh what is it uh 6 p uh, 6 p.m mountain time uh come on by and check us out we usually sit online and chat for about three hours we talk about tools we they talk about uh tech and cubs and life and montana and just you know the whole nine yards anyway till next time you all take care god bless and as always shine on